Hello guys, and welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. So, we last left off when we were visiting the cafe, and uh, we had a very interesting moment where the heroine finally realized that maybe they won't stay as humans forever. Maybe they'll turn back into dolls. And it's a very interesting thing to think about because n nobody knows exactly how they became humans from their dolls in the first place. So, it's possible that whatever turned them into dolls, or turned them into humans, can turn them back into dolls. So, I don't know. Let's see where this goes, huh? Right, I put it over here this time. Cat named John. Today, as usual, Yuri begged for me to take the cab with him, but I succeeded in losing him and went to school. The bus is genuinely hell, but I can't just take the cab when all the others except Yuri have to get on the bus. Why does Yuri keep on wanting Master to take the cab with him? Yunho said while sighing. Be careful of the name! I don't know, he's so persistent. Is there a need to insist like that? When is he going to get, get us that smartphone? Oh right, Yuri still hasn't bought them? For now, I was the only one using the smartphone Yuri bought. I told him for sure I wouldn't use it if he didn't buy one for everyone else. I should tell him this is clearly a breach of contract. I want to video chat. He'll get you one soon. I should confront Yuri when I see him today. I felt bad to use the good stuff by myself. I think it'd be okay to urge him a bit since his first payday seems to be coming soon. I think Yuri has a lot of extra income other than his salary. Uh... Oh, you think that's y Oh, that was Yunho saying that, maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. I wasn't paying too much attention. What? Yunho suddenly stopped walking. And he turned around. What's up, Yunho? Oh, I just heard something. What? A cat. He then smiled si slightly. A cat? You just heard a cat? Yunho nodded. Uh, we're going to miss the bus. Let's hurry. Yunho grabbed my clothes and said, Ugh, we really should run. Ugh, today's classes are almost finished. Oh, right. Do you guys know what club you want to join? Hearing Soe's voice, I look up. Soe was facing Lance and Yunho with a curious face. Soe used to use me to catch glimpses of the Hot Five, but now she seems to be quite close to them. If you haven't decided already... I'm not interested. I thought they became pretty close, but Lance still interrupts and ignores her. I can almost feel his coldness from over here. Hmm, really? Alright, how about you, Yunho? Uh, no, not yet. I don't really know what clubs there are. So he instantly brightened from Yunho's comment. Ta-da! I assumed that, so I printed this out! It's the list of all the clubs in the academy! So he handed Yunho and I each a thick batch of papers. Oh, thank you. What? Why to me? So he smiled after I asked. You're the bridge. You hand it over to Mr. Ice over there for me. I think he'll throw it away if I give it to him. He won't throw it away if you give it to him, will he? Ugh, if he treats you the same, then oh well. Lance's eyebrows flinched after hearing Zoe. Is she trying to provoke him? Ice Lance over there wouldn't care. <laughs> oh, we're about to find out. Lance, take this. Lance glared at the papers in my hands for a moment, then he sighed slightly and took it. Huh? He took it. I was surprised at the unexpected response. <laughs> of course. So he looked satisfied. There's a lot. Yunho mumbled while skimming through the list so he gave him. I know, right? Our academy is the only education institution in this area, so we get a lot of government support. So there are a lot of fake clubs trying to exploit that. The clubs that are actually active are the 17 with those stars on them. All the rest are ghost clubs, like I've said. It's a public secret that all the rest receive funding every year and spend it on fooling around. FYI, I'm in the student government, which is one of those clo ghost clubs. The student government plays around? I thought they were busy with school events? We're only busy for a short time during the year. Oh, the discipline guides are always busy. All the rest just play around all the time. You know what we do in the council room nowadays? We play egg shooting. 
But the president keeps on beating the vice president, so things are a bit tense. He doesn't look that way. Surprising. Of course it's not good to judge someone by their looks. Aren't there a lot of weird people who look normal on the outside? Zoe shrugged her shoulders and said, Friend, come here for a sec. Zoe pulled out my clothes. What? I have a favor. Help me get that ice prince join the student government. You can ask him yourself. Didn't you just see him taking the papers? He wouldn't have even looked at it if I gave them to him. He's less cold to you. He is definitely less indifferent to me than to the other kids. But that's not because I'm somehow more special to Lance. Really? That's exactly why. That is exactly why. Ugh. Then again, I would probably say the same thing because... Doi. When you don't have enough confidence in yourself, you tend to be like, Oh no, there's no way nobody will like me. At least not like that. There's no way. So then you just think up of all these excuses as to, Oh no, that's not right. I'm interpreting it wrong. Or blah, 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 blah. And it's just like... <sighs> yeah. Ugh. But that's exactly why. It's probably because I see him every day at home and he's more used to me. No! You're making up excuses, woman. The student government really needs someone like that ice prince. The new discipline guides went out complaining about the workload, but he looks like he'll be really good at it. I agree that Lance would be good in the student government. And if the ice prince comes in, the government will bloom! Cold ice flowers will bloom! <laughs> It'd be better to ignore Zoe's last words. Then what should I do? Oh. Uh, I'll suggest it. I approach Lance. Eh, it's so strange to see him front, because he's usually from the side. It's kind of interesting, though. Hey, I really think he'll do good as a discipline guide. Not just because Zoe pushed me. I really do think so. Lance is really straight-edged anyways. Um... It's just my personal opinion, but I think you'll be good in the student government. Lance stares at me, asking me with his eyes what the hell I'm talking about. Of course, even I think it's a sudden question. I mean, of course it's your choice to join or not. I felt a bit embarrassed to see him look at me so coldly. What does it mean to have a personal opinion? Huh? Oh, I was just saying that's what I think. On what basis? On what basis? I felt helpless at Lance asking me the reason behind his subjective thought. But Lance could barely be persuaded by a rational explanation. I thought hard. The characteristics I notice in your personality is that you treat everyone the same, and that's useful for a discipline guide who has to push the rules on everyone. And I think you'll do your best even at the difficult tasks. You always manage to finish the work that's been given to you on time. Aw, he looks surprised! Oh, he looks so cute! Lance seemed a bit surprised. So that's why I think it'd suit you better than anyone else. Lance still looks at me like he's surprised. I was starting to feel a bit agitated when he opened his mouth. If you put it that way, I guess it would make sense. Lance closed his eyes. Does he mean he'll think about it? I would be really glad if he took up my suggestion and joined the student government. I felt my heart beat fast at thinking he felt my sincerity. Yeah, you'll be great at it! I smiled, unable to hide my excitement. I turned around and saw Zoe put her thumbs up. Hmm, does that mean Zoe and Lance are in the same group? To be honest, that does worry me. Yunho continued to read the printouts. Is there a club you like? Yes, I think I found one. Yunho beamed. I have no idea why the last class had to be music. Now, does everyone feel it? The beautiful passion bursting out at this part. I feel it! If I take this class too seriously, I think I'll go nuts. To fresh my mind, I turn my gaze to the view outside the window. <laughs> Yunho just looks so fucking mad. I see Yunho next to me staring out the window too. Why is he though? I looked carefully and noticed he wasn't just staring blankly towards the window. Instead, he looked like he was searching for something outside. That looks like a searching face to you? That looks like I'm gonna fucking kill you if you say one more word to me, kinda look. Now the climax is here. This is the part the player interprets and plays according to his own style. I prefer a style that starts soft but suddenly becomes aggressive without any warning. 
It sounds like he's he's talking about sex and what he likes to do in bed. And that's probably the point. But oh dear. Oh, of course it is my strength that I can play in several different styles. <laughs> okay. If my ears aren't wrong, today's class seems to be more confusing than usual. I was swept by a strong urge to run out of the classroom. Yeah, that'd be wise. Oh. At that moment, Yunho suddenly stood up. What's wrong with him? His gaze was fixed at the view outside the window. You, Yunho? Yunho stormed out of the music room without a moment of hesitation. What's happening? He would rather run out than listen to this class. Lance teased Yuri and said, to the cherry boys ignore it. To the cherry boys ignorant of the greatness of my class, this might be too difficult. He might be running out of the room enlightened by your class. Can't trust anyone except the class president. I have no idea why they hit it off and became a couple. Oh, I have no idea when they hit it off and became a couple. But more importantly, Lance and Yuri didn't seem to care, but I was worried about Yunho. Why did he suddenly run out? Am I going after him? Please tell me I'm going after him. I thought he would return soon, but he didn't come back even after school ended and everyone cleaned the classroom. As all the kids started to head out, I got more nervous. The chick's still not coming? He might have gone home. Uh, maybe. That's weird. He always pays attention during class and doesn't even doze off. What's suddenly gotten into him? Really, the normal Yunho would never have done that. I couldn't come up with a reason no matter how hard I thought. Why did he suddenly burst out without a single word? Was he sick? This morning, too, he stopped and turned around saying he heard a cat. What if he really started hearing things because he's sick? He's not... Oh, God! I suddenly stood up from my seat because of the nerve-wracking thought. What if he turned back into a doll? He hasn't been turned into a doll, has he? Has he? Are you okay? I have to find him. Oh, okay, we'll go with you. I have to find him. I suddenly burst out of the classroom. Is she okay? Should we follow her? I will follow her. We can help, too. I don't need help. Something bad could have happened. Then the more we need to help, too! Anyways, do not follow me. I will take care of it. I walked, peering around every corner of the building. I felt like if I don't find Yunho now, my worst nightmare would come true. I have to meet him. I couldn't bear to not witness Yunho breathing and moving with my own eyes. I have to find Yunho. Ah, oh, Tay! See you tomorrow! Ray, let's hang out again tomorrow! Oh, I don't want to go home. Oi, heroine! Are your classes finished? Red! I found Red amongst the girls. Huh? You sick? Are you okay? Oh, but before that, where's all that energy I saw in the morning? Here, take this and cheer up. Red handed me something. Huh? I took it without knowing what it is. It's a chocolate snack. You know that snack I asked about? The kids tell me they don't sell these anymore, so they're hard to get. Wait, are you okay? As soon as Red finished talking, Tay came right beside me and looked at me. Help! Help me! You know what's missing! What? Yellow? Red dropped the chocolate snack he was eating. <sighs> Hearing someone panting, I looked by my side to see Lance, who seemed to have been running until just now. How could you just run away by yourself like that? Oh, Lance. Did he come looking for me? Although I thought Lance would never do that, I was relieved to see him right in front of my eyes. Can't believe you yellow's missing. Commander, what if a villain kidnapped him? Calm down. First he couldn't have gone too far. When did he disappear? About two hours ago, it was during class, and he just ran out. Tay closed his eyes and thought for a moment. Everyone should spread out and search. I'll ask Yuri to cover the building and Lance look around here. Red and I'll ask around if anyone's seen him near here. Me, me too. I'll come with you. I think you should go home. I can't do that. I felt guilty for not taking care of Yunho more. Please, I hope at least what I fear hasn't happened. I wanted to follow them and help, but Tay told me to go back home. Yunho might come back home. Someone should be there when he gets back. But, but... If something bad happened, you might get involved in it. Please, you have to go somewhere safe and wait. What? Hey, don't cry. Don't cry. Ren yelled at me. Red yelled at me. I came back to my senses and realized I was crying. God, so pathetic. 
I was about to wipe away the tears with my sleeve when a handkerchief suddenly appeared in front of my eyes. After taking it, I looked up to find Lance coldly stare down at me. Stop crying. Yunho will not come back just because you cry. Oh, you're my sweet. You're so sweet to me. In like the, in like the most cute ways. Damn it! You are our master. If you continue to cry like this, we, your dolls, do not know what to do. And Yunho is a smart boy. And Yunho is a smart boy, so... Lance is right. Tay interrupted Lance and approached me. I saw Tay's worried face right by Lance. Aww, they're so cute! I'm sorry, I can't. It's just, they're too cute. Oh, okay. I must have gotten too emotional. Sorry. Let's try to figure this out. I should pull myself together at times like this. Nothing's going to happen just by crying. After I spoke, Lance turned away to look at some place else. I prayed that nothing bad happens to Yunho while we search for him. Please let us find him safe. Meow. It was at that moment. I heard a tiny cat crying from beneath my legs. Meow. What is this creature? Meow. This guy. What? He looks at us and crying. That's strange. Street cats usually avoid people. The cat kept on rubbing its body on my legs and cried. My legs tickled a bit. Are street cats usually this friendly to strange people? Oh, cat! I remember Yunho saying in the morning, Oh, I just heard something. He clearly said he heard a cat. Does this cat have something to do with Yunho? For some reason I was thinking about that possibility. Oh! The cat suddenly turned and ran away. What should I do? You should follow the cat! I instinctively followed the cat. Hey, where are you going? My legs started to move first, and then my brain realized that I was running. When I saw the cat cry, I felt he looked similar to Yunho. Was that the reason? I felt like if I lose the cat, I'll lose Yunho too. I ran, hoping this cat would be the clue that leads me to Yunho. <sighs> Wait! I yelled at the cat, getting farther away from me. I'm too out of breath. I will... Keep on running! <sighs> I breathed heavily and kept on following the cat. The cat started to run again. I feel the cat knows something. I followed the cat and ran for a long time, and we arrived at a narrow alley. What is this place? Looking around, it didn't seem like such a friendly place. There were eerie, weird shops at the end of the alley. Huh? The cat disappeared while I was looking around. Feeling nervous, I was searching around the alley when... So that's what happened. I heard a familiar voice coming from somewhere. Y- Yunho? As I went deeper into the alleyway and peered around, I saw yellow hair in the corner. That yellow hair must be Yunho's. I was trembling while walking towards him. Yunho? Meow. The cat from earlier was rubbing his head on Yunho's hand and being cute. Yunho must not have heard me call him and kept on staring at the cat. Yes. Meow. I see. Yeah, it would be nice to find him soon, right? Yunho! Oh! Yunho finally heard me and looked up. Because I guess I said his name wrong and that seemed to have worked. Th thank God! Master? Surprised to see me, Yunho let go of the cat and stood up. I crumpled down onto the ground just from seeing his face. But still, thank God, Yunho's safe. Really? What are you doing here by yourself? You should have told me where you were going. You were gone and I... Gone, and I imagined horrible things. I kept thinking even as I was running behind the cat. What if I could never talk to Yunho again while looking at his eyes? What if he had an accident? Uh, I'm sorry. I heard this kid here desperately seeking help. I, I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry, Master. Thank God. Thank God, you're not hurt. Nothing bad happened to you. Thank God. Master. Yunho approached me. And hugged me.
can't get over how adorable this is! Ah! I'm sorry for making you worry, Master. This abandoned cat was looking for its owner. His owner suddenly disappeared, so we were searching for him. That's just so sad, if your owner suddenly disappears. If your owner disappears, you no longer have someone to cherish you. If I was in that situation, I felt bad for the cat, so I wanted to help. So I was trying to help, but the owner was already... What? You know, what are you trying to say? You understood the cat? Yeah. How? I can just hear it. What it's trying to say, I can just understand it. And the voices of souls, I can hear them, Master. Oh god, I didn't know you could do that. I'm sorry for disappearing without a word, but I couldn't just ignore a cat that lost its owner. I could feel Yunho's warmth. I was just thankful that his heart was still beating. The moment I thought I might lose him, I couldn't think of anything else. I was overpowered by the need to find him. I was worried sick. I'm sorry, Master. I thought you had turned back into a doll. It was so scary. I'm just glad that nothing happened. Thank God. I've gotten so attached to all of you. I don't want to lose any one of you. I hate going back to an empty house. I hear the noisy TV and the boys laughing. There isn't someone to wake me up in the morning. I've gotten so used to this daily life. I don't want to be left alone anymore. Okay, I won't go anywhere now. Even if I turn back into a doll, I'll always watch over you. Yunho plunged with a determined look. I stroked his hair. Now, shall we head home? Yeah. I grabbed his hand and came out of the alley. I was so relieved that the thing I worried about the most didn't happen. YOLO! I didn't know you had that gift! Talking with cats! Amazing! You indeed are a justice warrior! We are the chosen ones, aren't we, Commander? Well, I don't know about being chosen, but it is a special gift. So, did you find the person the cat was looking for? No, that kid... He searched for his owner for a long time, but couldn't find him. Why not? Well, he's at a place we can't go. But one day they'll meet each other again. I want to tell the cat that. I understood what Yunho was saying. The cat must have gone through something sad. But still, please don't disappear like that without saying anything. She was worried to death. Next time, hire someone to search. I don't understand why everyone made a fuss about searching themselves. Young people, so tiring. <sighs> I was worried about Yellow a lot too, but you seem to be sorry, so I won't say anything more. Meow. As soon as Red finished talking, we heard a cat. Oh, John! As Yunho called him, the cat I saw earlier jumped towards us. He must have followed them home somehow. He cried out after seeing Yunho, but then jumped over the fence and disappeared. Did he come to see Yunho? Anyways, did I just hear Yunho call the cat something? Yunho, what did you just say? What? You just called the cat something. Was it John? Oh, that. He's called John. Isn't it cute? It was a cute name. John's his nickname, and his real name is Johnson. What? Did, did you just say John... What? John... <laughs> Yuri quickly covered Yun Yunho's mouth with his hands. I hope I heard wrong. Oh, that's a no-no. That's not a word to come out of your cute mouth. It won't be too late to say it when you get older. Yes, not late to say it. Yes, not late to say it after you've become an adult. Be an adult -y. Be To be an adult means... <laughs> Do not teach Yunho weird things. You can say all those things whenever you want, but if you continue that, Yunho will faint. <laughs> Yunho's face grew pale. Oh, my mistake. <gasps> Yuri immediately let Yunho go, and finally he was able to breathe. I don't know who named the cat, but that person has bad taste, naming a cat like that. That's true, it's quite inappropriate for such a tiny, cute kitten. The owner must have been a freak with a weird hobby. The owner has strange taste. Tay and Lance stare at Yuri. Why are both of you looking at me? I'm not the owner. I did not say anything. Do I make you feel victimized? Well, it may be hasty to say it's Yuri, but how surprising. There are strange people like Yuri in this world. Even one is hard to handle and there's another one. The world must be coming to an end. Is there something about the name Johnson that... 
shouldn't be said? Like, is that her grandpa's name or something? Beside Yuri, who suddenly became the cause for the end of the world, Red was standing still with his eyes open wide. But hey, what's so weird about that name? It's cute. John. Johnson. I think it suits him. Does it have some weird meaning behind it? Red genuinely looked clueless. Sometimes I think Red might have the most innocent soul out of all of us. It means his brain is that empty. I avoided Red's eyes eagerly, eagerly waiting for me to answer. I'm supposed to be the innocent girl here, so don't ask me. Well, well, um, the name's not exactly cute. What? What is it? Hey, don't be like that and tell me too! I don't know what they're getting at here. I really don't know. Like, what's so bad about the name Johnson? Does it refer to an underwear brand or something? I want to know too. John said he really liked his name. He said someone important gave it to him. Is there a special meaning behind his name? What does it mean, Master? Yin Ho and Red begged with sparkling eyes. I desperately needed Tay's help. Ahem. <clears throat> but Tay was avoiding my eyes. Ah, uh, well then I had no choice. I silently begged for help from Yuri. All right, I guess if you guys are that curi are at that curious age, seeing you guys take the first step to becoming an adult as a teacher, I feel happy. All right, I'll teach you. Lance suddenly came over and covered Yunho's ears. Huh? What? Lance? Wait, why are you covering my ears? Then I can't hear anything. It's not something you should hear in the middle of the street. Of course not, even at home, too. You redhead, you should stop, too. People are looking. Let's hurry back. Yeah, we can't keep on standing here like this. No, no, let's go. Don't want to tell us, huh? Jerks. Alright, when we get home, I'll cleanse your filthy minds with my song. Tay suddenly flinched. There seems to be so many songs and games I don't know about in Red's world. I had no idea what song he was talking about. Now let's go home. I don't want to leave John here like this. Yunho stroked the cat and said, Um, hey, Master, I know I shouldn't ask, but can we take John home? Yunho, I understand, but... Unfortunately, I couldn't afford to have a cat in the house. The house is already too small with five extra people, so it'll get crazy with a cat in it, too. And besides, I couldn't afford to pay for cat food. As I evaded, Yunho feebly let the cat go. Goodbye, John. Ugh, I felt like I've committed a crime! Anyways, do I have to take the cab tomorrow, too? I'm kind of tired of it. Should I ride something else? It's none of my business what you ride to school. I'll take the bus. Yuri should get used to the bus, too. It's too expensive to take the cab every day. Unless we have a van or a limousine, we all have to take the bus. And besides, I still get worried when we go to school separately. Wouldn't it be better to go all together in the bus, though it's a bit uncomfortable? While adding those last words, I look at Yunho. Yunho lowered his eyebrows as if he felt sorry and smiled. Everyone dragged their exhausted bodies and went inside the house. And... Hmm, a limousine. No one heard Yuri mumble from behind. I bet he's going to do a limousine, which I don't think is something we want. I sat down at my desk after coming home and washed. I habitually open my diary and think about what happened today. Today was a long day, too. Thank God you know it's safe. I kept on writing. Everything suddenly turned dark. Am I dreaming? Huh, this is... The merry-go-round. What? That's the same music box merry-go-round thing from the opening, isn't it? This merry-go-round looks like the one I rode just once when I was little. And... Huh? You are... Who were you? The boy in front of me doesn't say anything. I definitely, I definitely remember seeing him somewhere before. I try to speak out, but my voice doesn't come out. The boy in front of me smiled. Huh, it's the mystery boy, isn't it? I have been waiting for you. All this time at the same spot. And then the boy disappeared. The merry-go-round starts moving. As if it will never stop. What? 난 이제 아르바이트 갈 시간이야. What? What? Did I do something wrong? What? What did I do? I'm gonna look this.
this up, I'm going to look up what I did wrong because I'm very confused. I don't know why that happened. Uh, what? Okay, I, I don't... What happened? Uh, what? Album. Okay. So I got one with Yunho. <gasps> oh, is it because I made him feel bad about the cat? Is that why? Cause I, is that it? Was I not supposed to chase after him? I'm was I not supposed to chase him? I'm gonna go look this up. I need to know. Okay? Alright. Sounds good. I will see you in the next one. Because that was really confusing. And I need to fix this. Because I don't know what I did wrong. Alright. See you in the next one. Bye.